it's actually here. Is he able to pick it up? This is how big it is. So small in my hands. I see it. I see it, guys. I see the bubble wrap. Let's go. We got that pre-order. Got that sticker. More bubble wrap. And I don't know if you guys are ready for this. We got the Dr. Dabber XS. Look how small it is. I can hold it. I can hold it in one hand. Look at this. What the hell? All right, let's get into this bad boy. Actually, before we get into it, let's go over this nice box. We got this nice Dr. Dabber XS logo here on the plastic wrap itself. Then we have the XS itself right here. Dr. Dabber XS on the side, compact performance system. This, I was told, is nothing but fun. XS Nano E-Rig. And now, we did not go over the back, so let's go over the back here. XS, performance anywhere. XS Nano E-Rig, quartz E-chamber, glass attachment, glass carb cap, sealed slash tether, loading tool, USB-C cable, glass filling funnel, and three prepackaged ISO snaps. Loaded with features, compact design, direct quartz to glass flavor pathway. Now that's what I'm talking about, people. All Dr. Dabber devices are gonna have that direct quartz to glass pathway. It goes straight from your chamber, your whatever you wanna call it. You know, you got the boost, you got the excess, you got the switch, uh, you got different ones for each one. All of them go directly to the glass. None of them go through the device, so you don't have to somehow figure out a way to clean your device, snaking through all these small air pathways and whatnot. No good, that's why I stick to Dr. Dabber. It has four precise temperature settings, 475 to 625. Then we have thermal control heating, TCH, not THC, for optimal vapor production even at lower temperatures. So what that means is they have a temperature sensor in the bottom of the quartz uh, chamber there, and that will detect if the temperature is too low, it will give it a little preheating cycle to bring it up to temp, and then it will do the normal heating cycle to make sure you are always at the exact temp that you need to be at. Very, very nice. It has pass-through USB-C charging, which is what I am talking about, people. You can use this while charging it. You plug it in, hit it while it's charging. Let's go. Powerful 900 milliamp battery capacity, scientific-inspired splash-free glass attachment. Now that's what I'm talking about, all right? I think it is time to finally get into the Dr. Dabber XS. Where'd that knife at? Alrighty guys, unboxing. Here we are, got the Dr. Dabber XS Nano E-Rig. I don't know if you guys see if we can get a shot of that. You can kind of see the XS if I wave it around here. Performance anywhere. Designed and engineered in Las Vegas, the XS Compact Performance System offers industry-leading technology to provide smooth, low-temp vapor. Exactly what we want. Featuring reliable conduction heating technology, concentrate-specific temperature settings, a laboratory-inspired water filtration attachment, and long battery life. USB-C charging capabilities combined with pass-through functionality ensures the excess will be ready no matter where you are or where you go. We got a QR code instruction manual, which I do kind of already know how to use it just a little bit, um, just by reading the manual before getting it. All right, so we'll go ahead here. We'll actually take off this film that they have, this nice excess. It is maybe a little bit of a waste of plastic, but excess nice little protective film here and now this is our box here this is how you're gonna see your excess if you buy one which if you do want to buy an excess please use my link it will be in the description down below or wherever this video will be posted it will be somewhere uh, available to you wow all right this thing's actually insane let me see how small this is taking it out of the box might need to put down on my lap action Oh my gosh. What the, this is nice. This is immediately, like, this is beautiful. Immediately beautiful. Fits amazing in the hand. It's nice and weighty at the bottom. I know they were adding, uh, they added a little bit of weight at the bottom because it was too light and I think they made the right choice. 
definitely will not topple over. I know you guys can't really see that. Um, and obviously this box is not going to be level, but this is, this is sturdy. Let's grab the glass, rotate it out, a little bit of a boom. Absolutely beautiful. Spill proof. So we'll put the funnel in there to fill it up. It does have a recommended fill line here, which I will indeed do. We're putting the glass onto the excess, just like the Dr. Dabber switch. Just put this right over top, push it down, and that's it, you're done. It's on, it's attached. Now you have a portable e-rig that you can use anywhere. But first, you're gonna want some water and probably the quartz chamber here. Got the quartz chamber, pretty good size. Oh, massive size. Now that I'm looking at it, you have to put the quartz chamber on before the glass. It does thread in. Boom, quartz chamber attached, glass. Let's see, I wanna, I wanna put it to where I'm gonna use it nicely. Glass attached. Now, all we need, the little accessory pack here, which will include those ISO snaps, the funnel for filling, and charging cable, which is very nice. I don't know where that band just went, but it's somewhere in my car now. It does come with a kind of dual side USB-A here, so you can plug your USB-A in any way you want. I personally don't really like those kind of cables just because I feel like they might wear out sooner, but to each their own, it does let you plug in your USB-A any way you want. So here we go, USB-C charging up so we have half battery here and then we're charging up three and four let that charge while we grab out the silicone accessory pouch here dr dabber accessories xs accessories it does come with a dab tool as well nice little dabber here though it does have a hole in it so you can attach this to stuff that's very nice very clutch good size for sure put that back in the box and then we have the silicone funnel here. So let me show you guys how to fill this up. So to fill this up, you're gonna wanna take your funnel, gonna wanna put it right in here, right above that quartz chamber. That should be pretty good. I don't know if it's supposed to go all the way in or not, but it seems to be stopping right here. Let's go ahead and grab some water here. We'll take this, we'll go and fill it up. And here we go. Oh, flawless. Yeah, no problem at all. And we'll fill it to that recommended fill line. I don't know if you guys can see that in the back, but. And so now we just take out the silicone funnel. Got some water places. Probably shouldn't have taken it out so fast, but it's okay. I think you are supposed to get this funnel more, more down in there. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. So guys, you are supposed to get the funnel all the way in there. I did not. I accidentally got some water over the chamber here, but no problem. We can take this right off and I'll just wipe it up with my sweatshirt real quick. I was trying to, I was going to wipe this off, but I had to put the glass down and realize this is spill proof glass. So you guys can flip this. No water is going to come out. I think my fill line might've been a little high on the recommendation guys. Don't fill it as much as me. I thought I filled it to the tape, but I think the tape might have been in the wrong spot slightly. Okay, so I kind of fixed that by flipping it upside down. This is the actual fill line here. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Let's go ahead, put this on here. We got it full up. So we got the fill line looking about to be j underneath that. It's gonna be a little underneath that. I don't know if you guys hear that. I hope you do, cause this is chugging. Look at this. Let's get up, and, up close and personal, cause this is so small. That sounds incredible. Let's go ahead and get now the carb cap out. We got the carb cap and we do have the silicone here. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this end of the silicone, make sure you put this on correctly. You don't wanna put it on upside down. Uh, you could 
put it on the excess first if you would like. Maybe a little safer that way. We have the excess ready to go. I was just putting the carb cap on. We got the carb cap on the silicone attachment. And, oh, I did the exact thing I said not to do. I said, make sure you don't put it on upside down. I put it on upside down, guys. Make sure you don't put it on upside down. Let me fix that real quick. Now I'll take the excess. Put the carb cap right on. Here we go. Carb cap. And when you put it on, it fits perfectly. This does not... It, it it's in there that's in there so it's very very nice all right now time to get some dabs loaded up let me grab some wax here i have the wax actually right behind the excess maybe a little inconvenient spot we'll get close and personal here we have some beautiful beautiful jack hair here um cured resin actually not even live resin but i love jack so much and the the cured is just honestly just as good Maybe even better, depending. And look at it move. Like, if you guys see this moving, look at that. It's moving in the jar. This is beautiful jack hair. Beautiful cured resin that we have here. I have the Dr. Depper Buttercutter battery attached to the 3 grams melt blade. If anybody was wondering. All right, got a nice globber loaded up and this chamber is massive. So what I'll do is just kind of drop it off. As you guys saw, it was very runny. So it will be very easy and perfect. All right, dab loaded up. As you can see, we are currently charging and we have charged a little bit, maybe 10, 15 minutes. This is charged up to that next battery percentage. We might even get to that full one here. Let's go through the temp settings. I didn't, I haven't even gone through the device yet, guys. Classic. We're going to have five taps to turn it on. It is now on. We have that blue logo. So we're going to turn this on. I unplugged it just so you can see when it comes on. Got the lights lighting up. That means it's on. Plugged in. They will be flashing, they will go back to flashing, but you triple tap this for your temp setting. We have green, we have magenta, pink. We have purple, I believe, or violet, blue, somewhere around there. Oh, and then we have blue. So that was purple. So we have blue, green, pink, purple. Unfortunately, my phone is recording right now. I cannot look up the manual. I looked at them before and I can't remember which settings which. So we're just gonna send it. I'm gonna start on blue. I'm thinking blue might be the lowest. Now all we have to do is take the cap cap it up which as i said this fits very nicely if you get it you know if you really want to push it in there now all you need to do is hold this for three seconds you'll hear a vibration and it'll light up red means that it's heating i don't know if you guys can see in there any vapor oh we're getting vapor production and then it will turn green when it's good to go and it will vibrate Cheers, guys. We're ready. While charging. While in the car. While getting mess message notifications while in the car. Now we have that. It is done. 20 seconds. Jeez, that was, oh my gosh. It's getting cloudy in here, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this carb cap. I just wanna see how much is in here. Still a fuck ton. So we're gonna go at, we're gonna go back in. So they have a mode, or not really a mode, but they have a term, a feature on these devices. So crescendo is the feature they call it. You press this three times, anytime during the heat cycle, it does a bunch of vibrations, freaks out, goes up to the next temperature setting and boosts it, restarts the cycle for another 20 seconds. So now we're at a higher temp. 
20 more seconds. I can do it again. <coughs> Before these 20 seconds are up, we are now on pink. <coughs> Oh my gosh, I think the dab's all gone in here now. And now we're done. You can do crescendo again when you are in the highest mode, I believe, and it will take you to the lowest mode. So it will keep cycling. If you wanted, you could keep hitting this forever and ever and ever, but you can also just hold the button for three seconds and then it'll restart your heat cycle. We definitely still have more in here. So I'm going to hit this with another heat cycle. Cheers. Think this dab is clear. So for cleaning it out, you're definitely going to want to use a Q-tip. Um, they did provide ISO snaps here. If you guys want to get ISO snaps, they're little Q-tips that have a little bit of isopropyl alcohol inside them. So if you snap it, it'll fill the cotton head with the isopropyl alcohol. Very nice for cleaning. I personally will not be needing any ISO snaps because I have a little portable 3D printed ISO holder thing I'm a bob myself. Here I got my little ISO jar. This opens up, holds a bunch of Q-tips in here. So I'll take one out, keep it clean, everybody. Now I got my ISO, we'll dunk it in. We'll go in on this, swap it up. It's a big chamber, but you know, not too big to where like it's gonna take five years to clean, like a banger or something, you know? Like this is a very good size chamber, I would say. This is this is actually a perfect size chamber. I'm I'm gonna go as far to say that this chamber size is perfect. I'm cleaning it out right now, and I'm just thinking about putting dabs in it and everything. This is a perfect device. This is a perfect device. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing it slowly over time, but this device is perfect. I mean, look at this. Let's go over what we got here. We have the Dr. Dabber XS, the world's first nano e-rig. It comes complete with a carb cap with a nice perfect fit and a nice tether so you can't lose it. And then we have the spill proof glass attachment. So you can take this, you can flip it upside down. Water is not coming out of that, boom removable glass right here. Take this out, chuck it in ISO, easy clean. Pop it back on, good to take a dab. Pass through charging. I'm currently charging it. I was ripping it earlier while charging it. Four heat settings as we were going through. We have purple on 475. I believe blue is coming in at 525. And then I believe we have 575 coming in on the green setting. And then pink, I believe, bumps it up to 625. So you really have a wide variety of temperature ranges that are perfect for any dabber's needs. You can take this device, press it once at any time, see your current temperature setting. I will probably hit it around blue. That will be uh, 525. It seems pretty good for me. Maybe the low purple range. Honestly, I can't think of anything that you cannot do with this. This is small enough. I can fit it between my hand. The whole device, the entire thing, not comfortably. Not comfortably, my hand's not that big, but it's there. What? We do have some nice grip on the side here. We have it on both sides. Keep in your hands, you're not gonna drop this bad boy. As I said uh, earlier in the video, this is weighted on the bottom. So it will have some weight on the bottom. It'll keep it sturdy when you put it down on the table. It's not gonna knock over, you're, you'll be good. Like I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm tipping it. I'm tipping it a good amount and it goes right back. Yes, I know cat. I don't know if you guys can hear my cat here. Oh, lower the window. She's so cute. So I wanted to kind of end off this review unboxing uh, situation here with another dab, of course. Uh, we don't need the pass through charging here. Go ahead, get our charger back. Make sure to fit this in our handy dandy pouch. That's exactly what I wanted to end this kind of video review with. I wanted to show you guys what I will be using. Um...
back to what I was saying, I don't know if I'll include that, but it just took me forever to figure out how this charging cable, I don't know how they sent it. Turns out there's like a middle fold, just so you guys know. These cables are bound together, they're wrapped together. So it's like folded in half and then wrap them together. So you guys know if you wanna wrap it back up, this is how you do it. I could not figure that out for the life of me. Now we got it all wrapped up, we got the little band on it. I wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna be putting the excess in. I'm gonna be putting it in an MJ Arsenal zipper pouch. This costs like seven bucks. It's a, a little padded, not not really protective, you know, if you drop it or, um, your, your glass is probably gonna be pretty okay, um, but I wouldn't, you know, throw it with the excess in it or anything. So right here, what I have in here so far is I have the silicone, the charging cable, the silicone funnel, sorry the charging cable and then what I can do this is spill proof glass I can just put this directly in in here so this this zipper pouch does have two compartments so you can kind of put like your charging cable and your silicone funnel on that one side and then put the excess in and that fits look at that this was my plan I, I haven't tested it but now I've tested it. Zipper pouch, in, excess, locked up. And uh, what else I will be putting in here, because there is some extra room. I can put my heated blade butter cutter for taking dabs. I'm gonna put that ISO jar that I have, the 3D printed one that I made up, shove that in there. This is spill proof glass, so I can just kind of show you guys the inside here. So I have the Dr. Dabber excess, as you can see, the glass, the excess. We have the butter cutter, we have the ISO, and at the very bottom I have the silicone funnel to fill the excess, and I have a charging cable. And what I can do is right underneath the excess glass attachment, because there is a bunch of extra room there, as you guys can tell, I can shove my wax. And there we go. I recommend, um, well, I can't really recommend it yet. This is the first time that I've done it, but this is not a bad shout. Seven bucks, MJ Arsenal pouch. You'll have to pay a little bit of shipping, of course. Fits your excess perfectly, plus some extra attachments. Um, you know, the biggest other thing that I have in there that was harder to get in there was my ISO jar, but I figured it out and now it fits perfectly. And I think, honestly, the more kind of jam-packed it is, um, I feel like it, it kind of provides more secure, you know, things aren't moving around or, jumbling or anything like that. I can shove this anywhere I want and I have dabs. On the go, anywhere, accessible, full e-rig. And it's spill proof. What the fuck? Got my excess. Got my dabs. Got my heated blade. Got my Q-tips and my ISO. Got a pouch. We're gonna take a dab. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take our dab. Oh, almost stuffed my nose right into it. Take a nice little globber here. I don't wanna take too much because this, you know, this, I only have one type of wax out here. But don't wanna be a pussy. So we are loading it up. Wax in here is not spill proof. But just take a look at this chamber. We got that loaded up in there. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna press the button. We're gonna hold the button. And five clicks, we're on, ready to go. One, two, three, vibrating. Red means it's heating up. Oh, just some water in there. Thought I cleaned out the chamber. It's all right, we'll be good. I'll just blow it away. Green means we're good to go. Cheers. crescendo I don't know if you guys can hear that but vi that vibration is wild This is actually really nice to look into. They have a mirrored chrome, uh, like metal plate here or whatever. And when you're staring into it, you see the reflection up. 
I don't know, it's very nice. It's a pleasing aesthetic. It feels like I'm in the Matrix or something. I don't know why. Oh, we're on the hottest? Oh, shoot. I guess that's where we're taking it. Carb cap on. I was just getting started. Let me go ahead and hold that for three seconds. It'll heat right up near immediately. I mean, I'm still taking dabs. Now, 20 seconds more. Also, if you want to stop it, I believe you can press the button at any point in time. It does stop it. Then you can restart your heat cycle. Gets right back up to temp. You can also use this carb cap, by the way. I haven't really used it much, but. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm going to finish this dab off video because the excess is really fucking saving it for me. Holy shit. This is amazing. You can really save your wax with this. Every time I use it, I'm getting more and more blown away by the things that this can accomplish for the average dapper. Hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing, my review. Um, final thoughts, fucking yes, buy the thing. It's $160 as well. I haven't even mentioned the price, the entire unboxing. Or This is $160, that's it. So if you guys were thinking like, oh man, that device looks sick, but how am I gonna afford it? How am I gonna get it? This is only 160 bucks. That's how you can afford it. This is insane. Um, if you guys do purchase one, please use my link. I do got it down in the description or somewhere. You'll be able to find it somewhere. I do appreciate it. Get yourself an excess. They launch on the 22nds. I'm recording this on Friday, so four days. 22nd. I don't know what I said. I think I said 20 seconds. <laughs> it launches on the 22nd. Ah. Cheers, guys. Get yourself an excess. See you guys in another sometime. Peace.